the tab in the following manner. The square of the tab is fit and centered between adjustable square nuts, which should be fingertip tightened. Also check the adjustable square nuts only grip the square portion of tab. Then tighten chuck nut, which forces collate to hold the tab shank in the firm grip. Mount the stop arm on the attachment. First check whether the tapper is oil and grease free. Then mount the attachment onto the machine spindle. Extend stronger stop bar from machine spindle or machine table to engage stop arm. Be careful while working with the stop arm. Do not leave it loose. Always keep it at rest on the stop bar before turning on the machine spindle. Do not lengthen the stop arm. First, loosen the grub screw on the cup nut. Then by using the two rods provided, for more torque, turn the cup nut clockwise and for less torque, anti-clockwise. After desired torque is achieved, tighten the grub screw on the cup nut. The graduations on the body are reference points for various jobs which may be noted to save setup time in future. If later during the operation the clutch slips, it is evident that the tap is dull and should be replaced with new tap. Also keep in mind, over talking can lead to tap breakage. Please read our manual provided for recommended tapping speeds. Press the tap lightly against the mouth of the hole. The free axial float will automatically permit the tap to follow its own lead. The operator has just to move the machine spindle until the desired depth is reached. Here the clutch is activated with a sound and the tap stops. Rotating during this period, the operator makes a quick upward movement. Remember, not to leave the clutch activated for a long time. It is only designed to prevent tab breakage.